Hey, welcome in. Well, it looks like CNN Plus might already be in trouble. And I hope so. I really hope that it just completely fails because, because I consider CNN to be lying trash. And I don't think they bring anything good to the world whatsoever. And the fact that they're a global brand, that means they can spread their, their poison to all corners of the world. And with CNN Plus, they're hoping to be able to lie even more. So what's going on here? This is from the Daily Mail. CNN refuses to deny report that there will be jobs cut as soon as May at CNN Plus due to low subscriptions just a day after the streaming service launched. Now, I've seen reports that they had to cut down the subscription cost uh, from $5.99 to $2.99 because the launch was so bad. But because I'm fair, I'm going to show you this. This is from March 2nd. CNN Plus to cost $2.99 a month at launch. It's from March 2nd. So it looks like they were planning to do that all along. But we also have this. Let's see. Fox Business Network's Charles Gasparino reported on Wednesday that CNN Plus, a 120 million venture, is already failing and may not survive on its own for much longer. Let's see, here's the tweet. Uh, breaking, CNN Plus employees bracing for layoffs, possibly as soon as May, amid projections of lackluster sales of new streaming channel. CNN employees say new streaming channel could be merged into larger Discovery Plus, as early as May, unless subscriptions pick up. But, but uh, a CNN official here, he says, for the record, we are very happy with the launch of CNN Plus and are only bracing for a long run of success. Now, I don't know about you, but being CNN, I wonder if they're lying. But uh, they didn't mention Putin in there, so that's a plus. But what does your $2.99 a month actually get you? Ah! I knew it was coming. I still was unprepared. There's Don Lemon. Why is he winking there? Is that because he's like winking? Because like he knows that we know that he's constantly lying, that everything he says is a lie. I can only assume. So you get more Don Lemon. Well, that's great. Uh, you get somebody called Audie Cornish. I've never heard of. You get more Wolf Blitzer. Who hasn't had enough Wolf Blitzer? You get Carrie and Jamel. And I'm guessing that's a show about however things racist. And you get a parenting show from Anderson Cooper. That's great. Parental guidance. And then you get uh, Jake Tapper's book club. <laughs> that's sure to be a, a hit with the uh, the value demo. The one they're going for with that CNN Plus. Because the cable network doesn't do very well. Maybe they can find them online. So in the coveted 25 to 54 demographic, what Jake Tapper's getting 224000 that's less than half of the five on Fox News. Blitzer gets 257. That's considerably less than Brett Baer. And see, Anderson Cooper, 244,000, not even half of Tucker Carlson. Yeah, there are YouTubers who do way better than this, and they don't have a billion-dollar corporation behind them. But they're expecting people to flock to see them on CNN+. Plus. I'm not buying it. Yeah, so uh, Jake Tepper's book club. I wonder if he's going to do 1984. <laughs> I wonder. But they've covered their bases. They've covered their bases. If that doesn't bring in the kids, well, they brought in Chris Wallace. He says that uh, he's ready for a new adventure. Well, I hope he doesn't have his hopes up too high. Because I think it's going to be more like, I don't know, man gets hit in crotch with football <laughs> than a wonderful new adventure for Chris Wallace. But you wonder, how could this fail? I mean, the service made waves as it brought on big names. Big names to help in the competitive world of streaming, grabbing Chris Wallace <laughs> and MSNBC's uh, Casey Hunt. I've never heard of her because those are big names. I mean, those are names that the Internet's been clamoring for, but they weren't done. They brought in uh, chef and author Allison Roman. I, I don't know who that is. Actress Eva Longoria. And she's going to host a travel show focused on Mexican cuisine as well as NPR's Audie Cornish. Well, they've got Eva Longoria and uh, somebody from NPR. How can it go wrong? Let's see. Andrew Morse, head of CNN Plus, said the new service was not a defensive play uh, due to the aging of traditional news fans. So why are they doing this? Because uh, the cable news viewers are quite old. Uh, CNN's average viewer is 64 years old. 
saying that Fox and MSNBC's average viewer is actually even older at 68, although Fox does get a, a much, much larger share of the younger demo. And, you know, who else to bring in the uh, younger demographic than Chris Wallace or uh, Eva Longoria? What about Rich Little? Is he still around? Can you get him? So I don't know. It kind of feels to me like you're paying CNN $2.99 a month to dump a bag of garbage in your living room every night. But hey, that's just me. I hate being lied to. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the audio version on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.